Are you a well-groomed guy months into his looks maxing journey, but you're not getting anywhere with the ladies? That's probably because you're missing that crucial ingredient, sex appeal. It's what sets the twinks apart from the chads, who seem to get all of the attention. In this video, we'll be pulling back the curtain and explaining the often confusing topic of sex appeal and how you can get some for yourself. Most men can develop sex appeal. It's not about where you start, but how far you can climb. Barring any major physical deformities, nearly any guy can ooze with sex appeal. It doesn't matter if you start really overweight, skinny, or are stuck with an average-looking face. A lot of the attractive men online probably looked as average as you did before they had their glow up. Sex appeal is a mix of physical attractiveness and charisma. But to get a girl to talk to you, she needs to find you attractive in the first place. Muscles equal sex appeal. Women find physically fit guys attractive. It's biology. Just like we find women with an hourglass physique irresistible on some primal level, women find men with muscular, lean physiques attractive. A healthy, muscular, and fit body is a biological indicator of perfect health, strength, and stamina. And women have used those metrics to screen for potential mates for thousands of years. Because of our modern lifestyle, most men don't have to be at their physical peak to survive, but that does not mean we can't use thousands of years of evolutionary biology for our benefit. How to build a foundation for sex appeal. The V-taper is the ideal physical proportions for a man. Not only is it evidence of your strength and dedication, but it's also aesthetically pleasing. You can achieve this physique by targeting specific muscle groups, upper back, shoulder, upper chest, traps, arms, and neck. The neck in particular is underrated because of how much of a difference it can make in facial attractiveness. Pull up a picture of two guys, one with a thick neck slightly wider than his jaw and another with a thin neck. You'll notice the difference immediately. That correlation between physical attractiveness and mass extends to your overall physique. A wider shoulder, thinner waist, thicker arms and upper chest are such a physical turn-on that having a mid-face won't even register. Grow a stubble. A light stubble is the perfect middle ground between a full-grown beard and a smooth-shaven face, and it looks great on nearly everybody. A smooth-shaven face makes you come across as cute and young, not handsome, and a fully-grown beard can hide physical shortcomings like a weak chin or fat face. A stubble lends you an aura of confidence, attractiveness, and mystery. It's the best of both worlds, and there's even scientific evidence to back this up. A study conducted in 2013 asked a panel of 350 women and 177 men to judge photos of 10 men at various stages of beard growth for attractiveness, masculinity, health, and parenting ability. Attractiveness peaked on the photos with men rocking the heavy stubble. However, note that the stubble might not work for every guy. If you have a scar, cannot grow a beard, or are a blonde Caucasian, stubble might be more of a curse than a blessing. It's one of those things you'll have to experiment with before settling on a certain look. Darkening your features. While we're on the topic of experimenting with looks, you might want to consider darkening your eyebrows. If you have dirty or regular blonde hair, consider darkening your eyebrows and thickening them to see how much of a boost they can give you aesthetically. The boldness and contrast might highlight your features and make you even more attractive. Much like the stubble, this tip is not for everybody. However, our next one is. Deep voices are sexy. There's a lot of truth behind the stereotype that men with deeper voices are sexier. Low-pitched male voices, aka deep voices, are frequently seen as a sign of dominance and strength. And even though their physical bodies don't quite match, the perceived strength behind their voice can be quite alluring to women. Think Jason Momoa, Morgan Freeman, 50 Cent, and other musicians with a powerful baritone. Basic biology explains why women love it. Testosterone thickens the vocal cord during puberty, and so a thicker voice is typically viewed as evidence of testosterone, which helps build muscle mass and recovery and affects the male sex drive. All of these features were invaluable for the survival and propagation of the human species thousands of years ago, and they're still relevant today. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do to change the pitch of your voice forever. However, there are certain tricks and actions that you can take to make your voice come across as deeper and more worldly. Relax your neck muscles. When the sternocleidomastoid or your neck muscles tense, they tug on your vocal cord, resulting in a higher pitched voice. By relaxing them, you can achieve the opposite effect, lowering the pitch of your voice. Training your neck muscles is one of the most effective ways to achieve this. More developed neck muscles are less likely to tense up because they're strong enough to meet the physical requirements of the day. 
Another way to achieve this sexy, low-pitched, smooth voice is by speaking from your diaphragm instead of the lungs. As you speak, try to shift the effort downwards and let your stomach naturally tense up and your shoulders squared back. Age and increased testosterone can help you deepen your voice over time, but you're more or less stuck with what you're born with. However, your posture is something you can significantly change about yourself over time. Good posture is attractive. Good posture is a marker of confidence, strength, and health, especially in men. After your physical features and appearance, your posture is what people notice the most about you. If you walk hunched over, with your shoulder rolled in and your head tucked low, girls will assume you're ashamed, unhealthy, timid, weak, untrustworthy, and undependable. And it won't matter how much muscles you have and how deep your voice is. How you dress is how you're dressed, and if you don't carry yourself right, girls won't talk to you, much less give you their number. And this is not just speculation either. A recently published research paper showed that sitting with an expansive, space-consuming posture determined who got a second date more than physical attractiveness or any other feature. The saying confidence is attractive is a stereotype for a reason. If you hit the gym consistently, you should naturally have better posture than people who have a more sedentary lifestyle. Exercise strengthens the chest, core, and scapula area, which is essential for great posture. However, if you have a bad posture anyway or are a couch potato, you can fix your posture with flexibility and strengthening exercises that work your spine, chest, and core. You can also try simple postural changes in the mirror. Hold your shoulder blades back, tuck your stomach, push your chest forward, and keep your head looking straight ahead with your shoulders tucked back and squared. Don't expect changes to your posture overnight, but expect to see serious improvement over the next eight weeks. With your body sorted, it's time we focused on what we put on it. Fashion and style. You want to choose clothes that fit your body just right, nothing super tight or loose. You want the perfect fit every time you shop. Don't be afraid to flaunt your gains. Think about how hot girls or fit girls dress. If you have well-developed arms and chests, choose short sleeve dress shirts and polo shirts that show skin and leave the top buttons loose. Do the same for dress shirts. Basically, you want to dress more provocatively, but do it tastefully. You might also want to invest in a tailor. A lot of the time, brands don't make clothes with fit guys in mind, so you might find yourself picking clothes that don't fit you perfectly. A good tailor could help you make adjustments when needed and keep you looking fresh and confident all year round. Invest in some jewelry. For the final touch, accessorize with light jewelry. You don't need to buy a ton of bling, watches, and rings to look attractive. Like anything else, too much of it is a bad thing. We recommend the classic combination of a simple chain, watch, and bracelet. Rings are optional. We recommend having multiple sets of each in silver and gold. Switch out as the situation demands. If you need help finding jewelry, go to Pinterest to find samples you like and shop online. In the end, pick whatever you think will give you the most sex appeal. If you have your basic grooming down and act on everything we discussed, you're guaranteed to get more love from the ladies and enjoy all the benefits that come with that. By the time you talk to her, half of the battle is already won. Creating sex appeal will not happen overnight, but as long as you hit the gym, work on your posture, get a good stubble going, dress well, and accessorize tastefully, you'll get results sooner than you'd think. If you'd love our breakdown of the science behind why testosterone makes your voice naturally deeper, you'll love our deep dive into the science of attracting girls. We discuss everything from pheromones to proximity, psychology, and evolutionary biology.